Hello and welcome to another tutorial of JavaScript. In this tutorial, we will going to learn how to work with variables. Variable, first of all, we need to understand what is a variable. A variable is a temporary place in the memory where the value is being kept for you to be using that value while you are using the program. So it's just a memory allocated inside the computer's memory for you to be using that memory space to store some values and retrieve those values upon when, when, whenever you need them or change those values. That's what's called variable because a value could change. So variable is a space in the memory. Now, the computer understands the space with some kind of an internal coding mechanism, but as users, we need to understand the space by a name. So all variables must have names. Now there are some naming rules for variables. Variable names must be one word. See, so you cannot have spaces in the names of the variable. Variable name must not be a keyword. A keyword is a word that has a special meaning in the language that you're working with. So, and, and also the variable name cannot start with a number. It must start with a character, but it could be alphanumeric after the first character. Second of all, you cannot use all possible symbols in the name of the variables. The only possible symbol that you could use is an underscore. So there are some naming conventions. So we would now like to declare a variable to store somebody's name. So I would like to call my variable name. However, in JavaScript, whenever we declare a variable, we write the word var in front. Unlike other languages, JavaScript doesn't really has very strong typing. In other languages that you may be familiar with, whenever you declare a variable, you must write the data type along with the variable. But in JavaScript, we just use the word var. The very first value that you give to this variable define that variable's data type. Well, but that doesn't mean the variable has to live with that data type for the rest of its life. You can be changing the data type of a variable on a fly. Same variable name, different kind of a value, different data type. We're going to be seeing that later on today. Well, if I would like this variable whose value is name, uh, whose value is Sam Johnson, but the name of the variable is name, and I would like this variable to be displayed out onto the screen, so I'll once again going to use document.write name. And as I run this in a browser, and here you can see, welcome to HTML page and Sam Johnson. So notice the difference between what we did in our tutorial number one. If you had to display a message out onto the screen, you put the message in the double quotes, but never put a variable name in the double quotes because what is written in the double quotes go onto the screen as it is. Let me show you. If I put double quotes around name, and if I go ahead and refresh this page, notice what happens. It doesn't pulls out the value from name, rather it will going to show you the name as text back onto the screen. So if you would like to pull out a value out of the variable, drop the double quotes. Now this is a message to the underlying operating system, or in this case browser, that please, this is a variable name, look for it and then find its value. Now I will going to select this and I will going to copy it and paste it again and between the two oops it's case sensitive JavaScript therefore I must be writing everything in lowercase I would like to put a break row okay this is to show you that the same variable could be used multiple times notice I am now displaying the word Sam Johnson two times separated by a break row now, what I would like to do next is I would like to link all of all three of these lines into one line, and you can easily do that in JavaScript. Well, first of all, we use a an operator plus, which is used in this case as a concatenation operator that means to link strings together. If it's used between two numbers, it adds. If it's used between a string and a non-string, or between two strings, it is used for concatenation. So now I would like to concatenate the name with a br, and I'm going to put an, a plus sign on the other side. Always remember that whenever you change types, or whenever you go from a, a literal string to a variable string, you must use plus in between as a concatenation. So now here in this example, I'm using a string concatenating with a new line, concatenating back to the same screen. So if I save this example and refresh, 
no difference in the output. It does exactly the same thing. So you could be concatenating long outputs one line or you can be putting them on several different lines. So this is how you can be using a variable name um, and putting a value in it and displaying it. Now I would like to put a, a message up here. Um, I would like to put a message that um, your name is this and I would like to put a break row and then I would like to put another document at right welcome to my site and then followed by the name of the person now here if I refresh the same page that I was working with before and here we go now we get the two messages from JavaScript your name is Sam Johnson in the next line I'm saying welcome to my site Sam Johnson so once again in this example we notice that we have two outputs coming out onto the screen two lines because of the BR and each line has concatenations and I'm able to use the same variable name multiple times the names of the variables should define their purpose so we would like to display a name of somebody so we would like to call my variable name but that if even if you don't call it a name or even if the variable is is named out of context it will still going to work just fine so in this case for example um, if i would like to store a value 56 in a variable called name now that doesn't really make sense you know the way you do things that doesn't really make sense to put 56 in name however it's doable so I would like to take this output out and display it here and I would like to change my message value of variable name is and now it will display 56 so here we go 56 so this is called loose typing that you can use the same variable name and you can give it different kinds of data types and it will not going to complain about it Okay, so uh, this is just an introduction that I'm giving you over here to work with variables. In our coming tutorials, we're going to work with more and more operators. So you can see how variables can be used, how variables can be used in operations and some of the other places. One of the operators that I use here is concatenation operator. As I said earlier, it is used to concatenate a string with a non-string or two strings together. But make sure you use it every time you change your Form from a variable to a literal or a literal to a variable. Second operator that we looked at over here down here is equals to sign which is called an assignment operator because the value on the right is what you're assigning to the variable on to the left. So I have the space called name. I'm calling that space name as a programmer that has the word Johnson, Sam Johnson in it. But as I put the word 56 in it, the value 56 in it, 56 will going to replace Sam Johnson. So a variable at any given time can only maintain one value and can maintain one data type. Well, that's all for now for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to take this further to uh, dealing a little bit more with variables, how to uh, initialize them and how to assign them and how to use operators, how to take input from the user and how to display an output in the alert box. Well, catch you soon. Thank you for watching.